Jessan is asking whether are we able to track purchases from Lazada, Shopee in Ads Manager with CPaaS? Now, that's a very good question. Now, for those who are new to this thing, if you are actually, if you're selling on Shopee or Lazada, okay, now the biggest challenge when you are having a new store without a CPaaS access is you won't be able to retarget people who visited. Now, with CPaaS, which in the long terminology is called the product, eh, wait, wait, catalog platform, Catalog platform advertising solution, something like that, or we call it the collaborative ads. Oh no, collaborative platform advertising solution. Now this is uniquely for Shopee sellers and Lazada sellers. So what's gonna happen if you have CPaaS? Is Facebook? I mean, not Facebook. Shopee, like for example, will create a catalog based on all the products that you have in your Shopee store, and then link that catalog to your Facebook ad account, which in turn. You'll be able to run ads to retarget people who have visited your store but did not purchase or even to target people who have purchased in the past many days and all that you know in fact what we receive uh, i actually got uh, i mean I, I, was, I was actually speaking in uh, wings group yesterday uh wing Hon, if you know them now what i heard from him is now i apparently shopee is open up for more people to apply for c pass access so if you want to find out how i do not know you should go to you know wings group Okay, and uh, if you're not sure which one to go, it's called Kaki Kaki Shopee. All you need to do is to go Facebook and look for this Kaki Kaki Shopee Facebook group and join that. I think Wing is giving a few information, quite some information about how you can actually apply for the CPaaS access. So that's where you can actually go there. Now, when you have CPaaS, you're able to run retargeting advertisement effectively. In